stellar, superb, game changing. These are just some of the words that describe today's chief and principal researcher event. My name is Kauhelo Dioga and I am absolutely thrilled to be your guest presenter for this epic episode of CSIR Connect. Joining me next on this episode of CSIR Connect is our very own CEO, Dr. Tulani Lamini. Dr. Lamini, a very warm welcome to today's episode of CSIR Connect. Thank you very much. So what does it mean for the CSIR to have an increased pool of chief and principal researchers? This is a major achievement for the organization. Of course, an achievement also for the colleagues that we recognize today. Um, I think we are very clear that for us to achieve our intentions in terms of our new strategy, we need a very strong ACT leadership in the organization. And currently, unfortunately, um, the numbers are not so good. We need to have more principal researchers, we need to have more chief researchers, because it's through these colleagues that we'll be able to realize the intentions of our strategy. Our strategy is very clear in terms of where we wish to go, but how we get there is really the responsibility of our SCT leadership. So this is a major, major achievement for us. And we think it will go a long way in terms of our ability to deliver on our strategy. Let's talk about getting more of those chief and principal researchers in the future. What kind of impact do you, to, do you foresee that, you know, that increased in numbers making? Well, I think as we said during the addresses, you know, during the ceremony, one is very much aware that um, it's not very easy. It's not easy for us to attract um, chief and principal researchers into the organization because we're in a very competitive environment. You know, we're competing with industry, we're competing with academia for the same skills pool. But also we realize that um, even if we grow our own timber, it takes time. Mm -hmm. We need to be patient with ourselves, but we need to be very deliberate in terms of how we achieve this. I think, as you know, one of the things that we did about three years ago was to implement an accelerated chief research and development program, which, as its primary goal, was to address the issue of transformation within the chief researcher cohort within the organization. I think we are very grateful that we are now beginning to see the fruits of that program. That one of the people that were, one of the colleagues that um, was recognized as chief researcher today came through that program. But it's taken three years for us to do that. Uh, if you look at the pipeline of principal researchers that we have, there's a number of colleagues who are part of this program who are showing a lot of promise in terms of the growth and development that they've shown over the past three years as part of this program. But we need to be patient. But at the same time, we need to be very deliberate in terms of ensuring that we can see a change with regards to the profile, but also the number of principal and chief researchers within the organization. I think, as I said earlier, Currently, if you look at the percentage of chief researchers in the set base, we're sitting at about 1.2%. Mm. My view is that we should be closer to 5% in terms of chief researchers in the set base. So we still have a long way to go to get to where I think we ought to be in terms of the critical mass that we require of principal and chief researchers in the organization. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Lamini. It's a pleasure. Thank you. My next guest is principal researcher Dr. Ganeshu Munsami from the Chemicals Cluster. Dr. Munsami, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of CSR Connect. Good morning, Kokelo. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much and congratulations once again. Thank you. Now, it is said that with great, with great reward comes great responsibility. How will you ensure that you distinguish yourself using this particular promotion in your field of expertise? So, this has indeed been an honor and I'm humbled by the entire experience. So what I feel is that this is only the start. So it's such an inspiring event that you're almost wondering what's next? What can I do next? How can I achieve more? How can I create this impact? How do I translate this vision and this mandate that our organization has and really take it to, to make that difference that we need to? In an attempt to motivate those in the pipeline to follow suit in your footsteps, what do you have to say to them to motivate them? So I'm a product of human capacity development myself. So I've walked the path and I know 
more or less what the steps are needed to take in order to get to this level and then how do I plot my way to go further. But you can never go somewhere alone. You have to take others with you. And that's the best part of leadership and mentoring, something that I'm really passionate about, that I'm not going to go there by myself. How can I each one teach one? How do we get there together to deliver this combined impact that we need to? Thank you so much, Dr. Munsami. Thank you. Joining me now is our formidable chairperson of the board, Professor Togozani Majozi. Prof Majozi, a very warm welcome to you on this special episode of CSIR Connect. No, thank you very much and thanks for this opportunity. Okay, now let's get straight into it, Prof Majozi. What significance do you think these recognitions will add to the national system of innovation? No, I think it's, it's really, really, really good for the national system of innovation. I usually call it the ecosystem of innovation, really. Um, if you look at the caliber of individuals that actually ultimately attain this level at the CSRR, these are individuals who could literally be anywhere in the world and hold their own. They are recognized at all levels in the skills that they bring to the CSRR. So the skills they bring to the CSRR are the skills they bring to South Africa. So this is going to enrich in a very big way our national system of innovation. But also, the one point that I want to bring across is that the beauty of the organization that CSRR is, which makes CSRR stand out from all other organizations in the country and on the continent, is this multidisciplinarity that you find within the CSRR. So if you look at all these uh, principal researchers and the chief researchers that we are celebrating today, they really cut across mm -hmm. in terms of the disciplines of science. So to have that number of people really acceding to that level can only bode well for us as a country. Mm -hmm. And let's just latch off on that point of, you know, this organization being multidisciplinary, Prof. How do you think that these type of multidisciplinary recognitions will, will enable us to leverage off of our um, strategy on industrial development? Indeed. So, as, as you pointed out very, very correctly, we adopted our new strategy, say, about three years ago now, mm -hmm. uh, but it took off, I'd say, about two years ago in earnest. And that strategy, if you look at it very closely, is really repositioning the organization to be much closer to industry. The feeling that uh, we got uh, from our stakeholders in the past was that we seem to dwell more on the scientific dimension of the organization at the expense of the industrial dimension. So the new strategy is saying let's accentuate the eye, if I may call it that, so that we come closer to industry, we understand what industry needs and we offer solutions to problems that our industries uh, uh, have offer solutions to problems that our industries have, not just, by the way, in South Africa, but globally. As you know, we are a global mm -hmm. citizen. That is how we view ourselves as an organization, although we've got the South African focus, of course, as derived from our mandate. So I strongly believe then that uh, having this kind of caliber of individuals is going to go a very, very long way in uh, making sure that we support our industries. We've looked at this on two fronts. We looked at it on two fronts in terms of uh, our industrialization strategy. The one dimension really is looking at how do we offer competitive advantage to existing industries. Mm -hmm. This is one dimension because we strongly believe there's a lot of uh, work we can do on that front. But the other dimension is really saying how do we take this technology or technologies that come from the CSRR beyond just the paper or the general publication and then move on to commercialization. Mm -hmm you would know that our scientists do publish in leading journals internationally. But how do we take that beyond that and we commercialize so that we form small, medium uh, and micro uh, enterprises? That was beautifully unpacked, Professor Majuzi. Thank you so much for joining us on this very special episode of CSR Connect. No, no, thank you very much for this. And joining me now is newly appointed Chief Researcher, Vili Nell, from the Defence and Security Cluster. Vili, a very warm welcome to this very special episode of CSIR Connect. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Now, you are at the pinnacle of your career. What does this sort of recognition mean to you? Yeah, thank you very much. I, I, <laughs> difficult to say the pinnacle. I still have, think I have lots of things to achieve. Um, but yes, I think it's, it's great to be here. I am one of those people they spoke about in this award ceremony that started my journey as a 
bursar at the CSR in my second year at university. Um, I've, I've had many mentors that inspired me and I think we were also speaking about that during the ceremony that mentorship is a really important thing and for me personally um, both at the CSR um, personal mentors um, people that set examples for me um, which I would like to follow and that that inspired me to, to follow this as well as international you know people that um, I met internationally that wanted to grow me and sort of took me as their radar son, you can almost say. I mean, I, I specialize in the field of radar and you know, people that just pulled me into the world of radar and uh, helped me to just grow and get to this point. And I am yeah, very grateful to be here today. And let's talk about the, those many things that you still want to achieve. I mean, how do you think that this new recognition will enable you to contribute to the critical knowledge pool that is required in your field of expertise? Yes, so I mean, certainly in, you're talking about the critical knowledge pool. South Africa, um, I think, is a country of great potential, okay? And I don't think we're realizing that potential nearly yet. And um, just recently in the field of radar, we, we managed to si sign a deal with a company called Hensolt in South Africa, establish a new radar industry, Hensolt South Africa. And um, together with them, we're building some new products. And so that's already you know, setting the scene for some new things. Um, what I would really like to see is, is though, the, um, for, personally for myself, when I, when I turned 40, okay, I had this new dream, new vision. I said, okay, something, what's my next challenge? I had been doing a lot of things in radar target recognition, and I want to say, what's my next challenge? What's the next? And I actually said, you know what? There's this, a lot of things happening in space, and South Africa's never placed a radar into space. So I want to be the first person that puts a radar, a South African radar, into space. That is so amazing. I promise you, Willie, these will all be such game-changing ideas and dreams when put in, in reality. And thank you so much for also just motivating us to keep dreaming. Yes, for sure. And this brings us to the end of this week's episode of CSIR Connect. A very big thank you to our guests for honoring our invite and to you, our viewers, for tuning in.